Welcome to Actify's Active Image Protector tutorial videos. This is Robert from the Actify webinars. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to use the in-cloud recovery feature to restore or recover an entire system from a backup virtual machine configured through Amazon AWS. You can use in-cloud recovery to restore a system from a backup to an instance of AWS EC2. Let's begin with the Active Image Protector graphical user interface. We'll start by clicking on the InCloud Recovery tab located in the left pane. The graphic you see here is a simple representation of the InCloud Recovery process. Before we can continue with the InCloud Recovery, we'll have to read and acknowledge that there may be additional costs incurred when establishing a VM instance, the use of storage, or data transfer as determined by your cloud provider. Tick the box to agree to additional costs. Then click Next to continue. From this screen, we connect to the cloud service. For this video, we'll be connecting to Amazon AWS. Enter the access and secret keys and select the region. Then click Next. Now, from the target screen, let's select an existing virtual machine instance. Click the Browse button to select the instance for the restore target. Let's verify that the instance is not running. Highlight the selected instance, then click Select Instance. In this example, we have selected a backup source instance named Test-EC2. Now, let's configure the disk preservation settings for the restored disk. Our choices are Delete current disks Keep current disks Replace, detach, previously restored disks and Replace, Delete, Previously Restored Disks. Please refer to the help file for a definition of each of the preservation settings. For this example, we have selected Detach Current Disks. Now click Launch Remote Appliance. A word of note, when Launch Remote Appliance is grayed out and Shutdown Remote Appliance is enabled, the Actify Cloud Agent boot environment is running. Click Next. Now, from the source window, let's specify the folder where the source backup file is located. For this example, we'll select Amazon S3 for the backup destination. Enter the access key ID and the secret key to access Amazon S3. Then select the region and click Connect. Now, select the folder, source computer, and the recovery point for the in-cloud restore. You can also configure the settings for capacity and storage class under the target disk settings. Click Next. Review and confirm the configured settings in the summary window and then click Done. The progress bar of the current in-cloud recovery task is now displayed in real time. When complete, the progress bar will have reached 100%. Once the recovery is complete, the disk connected to the instance is detached from the AWS Management Console. From the AWS Management Console, we can confirm that a new disk has been created. Once you have verified that the restore disk is connected to the target instance and is running normally, please delete the detached disk. The created disk is connected as the root device of the instance. This concludes our tutorial for Active Image Protectors in Cloud Recovery using Amazon AWS. Should you have any questions, issues or concerns, or you just need support assistance, please contact us at Actify by email or phone. 
Thank you for watching. And thank you for your interest in Actify's Active Image Protectors in-cloud recovery feature.